Hey friends, Amanda here, Bare Bones Living. Welcome back to What's Cooking Wednesday. And this is a special What's Cooking Wednesday because this is the first one of 2023. And it's also during the pantry challenge uh, that is held by uh, Three Rivers Homestead, or I guess they also call it the Three Rivers Challenge. Um, I've seen it called both, but we are participating in that, and I haven't really decided how I'm going to be uh, documenting that, um, at, or how I'm going to be incorporating my What's Cooking Wednesday videos into that, or whatever. Uh, so I'm still kind of trying to figure out what to do with that, if you guys have any ideas, or anything that you'd like to see. I don't know that I would want to do like uh, every meal that we prepare kind of a deal, but let me know what you guys want to see. Um, but for today, I'm going to be doing a leftover meal. And I had some leftover turkey from the holidays. And so I'm going to use this to make a turkey tetrazzini today. And I made some homemade cream of celery soup that is coming out in a video. I thought I was gonna get that out before this video, but that just doesn't look like it's going to happen. Uh, because, hey, it's what's, what's Cooking Wednesday, so I gotta release it on a Wednesday. <laughs> um, anyway, super easy recipe, and let me show you real quick what we're gonna be using. So like I mentioned, this is all leftover uh, turkey that I had, and this is three cups of cooked turkey. We're gonna use a half a cup of butter, two cups of cream of celery soup, two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese, two cups of sour cream, a cup of chicken broth, two cups of mozzarella cheese. I'm gonna be using some bread ends that I have for breadcrumbs. I don't buy breadcrumbs anymore, I just save my, the ends of my bread. For on the top, we're going to be using parsley, garlic, salt, and pepper for seasoning. And then I have uh, 16 ounces of cooked egg noodles. And I'm just going to mix everything in this bowl, basically. So I'm just going to dump this in here. I just had this sitting out. softening and it's quite soft All right. our two cups of cream of celery this was super easy to make as well and I don't usually make things with cream of soups um, but I think that's because I just never buy them. Um, but now that I've made my own and realize how simple and silly I was being, I'll be doing that more. We're going to do two cups of sour cream. I also never have sour cream on hand, so this is from the holidays as well. Our one cup of broth. And then I'm going to measure out a teaspoon. teaspoon of garlic, a half a teaspoon of pepper, Quip up one. <laughs> it's like going down into this. <laughs> oh. 
And then we'll do a half a teaspoon of parsley. And then I'm gonna mix this up. I gotta be careful when I'm stirring this because there's big chunks of turkey in here. Don't wanna make a humongous mess here. So once I'm happy with this mixture, I'm actually going to pour it over my egg noodles and mix it all together before I dump it into my greased 9 by 13 baking dish. I forgot to mention too that I undercooked the pasta, but once I stirred it all together and was happy with how it was, you know, I coated all the noodles or whatever. I put it into this prepared baking dish and then I'm going to top it with the two cups of mozzarella and a quarter cup or so of Parmesan cheese. But really I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm not going to measure out a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. I'm just going to do what I think looks right. It's going to all chunk out real quick there. That's probably more than a quarter cup, but that's okay. And then lastly, I'm going to top it with my breadcrumbs. I'm going to try to get all these little bits at the bottom. Actually, I'm going to take out these bigger chunks. So that I can get to those smaller ones. I actually haven't bought breadcrumbs in over a year, I believe, because I always save, like, buns, I save, you know, how they're, it always ends up that you get one random bun or something like that. There we go. It's perfectly imperfect, which is what I love about this. And you could add peas to this. You could add mushrooms to this. You could use leftover chicken for this. You could add onions to this. Very versatile, but you know, this is pantry challenge and this is one of the things that I find fun about the pantry challenge is I used up odds and ends from the holidays and made learned to make homemade cream of celery soup and things like that and this is now ready to go into a 350 degree oven for anywhere between 30 to 50 minutes. Chilean magnifique. And here we have our golden, delicious turkey tetrazzini. Now let's plate it up and see how it tastes. Top is nice and crispy and the bottom is ooey and gooey. Oh yeah. Kids are excited to eat it. This should be a very kid-friendly meal. So, moment of truth, right? And I'm totally going to burn my mouth on this. I know it. Trying to stir it up and <laughs> hope that I don't burn it too bad, but I wanna get some of that crunchy top too. And it's so good.
My kids are gonna love it. It's basically noodles and turkey and creaminess. What's not to love, right? Little breadcrumb on top. It's great. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you give it a try. I hope you guys are doing the pantry challenge. And if you're not, you might wanna think about it because it's fun. And it challenges you to try new things and use up things that you wouldn't normally do it or use them in ways that you wouldn't normally use them or try something new. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch you on the next one. Who's hungry? Me, me, me. Thank you guys for stopping by today and joining in on our journey here at Bourbon's Living. We'll catch you on the next one.